Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very exciting video. Uh, we are 10 and 3, looking to keep our streak alive, and I've got the diffuser on, and it smokes. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I think it was a good touch. I didn't think it'd pick up in the camera, but obviously I was wrong. I had it on in here because uh, I brought some food in here, and it smelled bad. So, that's really it. That's the only story to tell. Uh, I'll leave that to a mystery to you guys to, to figure out, but we have a lot of things to look at. We have a breakout quarterback challenge. Maybe get Eric Walker up to some superstar development type stuff, you know? And then uh, Max Warwick also there as well. Leak. Levante David was a uh, player of the week. But yeah, Max Warwick is the one that he's on our team. Three tackles had three sacks in the interior. Defensive tackle getting three sacks is kind of crazy. But we have players ready to negotiate. And uh, looking through here, obviously Justin Ross is here. Very good, solid player. Nico Collins at 25 years old. Like six foot four, two fifteen. He's a monster. He has interest in the team. I'm willing to give him a decent contract. Nothing too crazy to the point where we can't pay anything else. But Nico Collins will sign back with us. And um, now we just have a few guys on the line. Monty Osgood, when he plays, is decent. Five million. I'll give him one over that. I think that that'll be it for Monty Osgood. So we get some signings done. Um, move the mic back to where it's probably supposed to be. And we so we get some signings uh, done. And now we've got to look at breakout quarterback. Uh, Eric Walker has a chance to go up in development trait. And that is what I'm really excited for. Eric Walker is coming off of a stellar game. Is he in the process of taking the next step? He's playing well. I think it speaks to that. Obviously, we'd love to get the kind of performance out of him every week. And if we can, we're going to win a lot of games. We already have, bud. Bubba Dub, throw one or few interceptions, have 350 scrimmage yards, or four touchdowns, so, um, that's not, I don't like our chances on that, I'm gonna be honest, but if we can put up some good numbers, I think that we could, um, I guess let's skip right to the game, you guys don't really need to see this, and I could do weekly strategy on my own, and, um, I think, yeah, that's fine, I guess snap to the game. And we're ready to go here in... I forgot what Jacksonville Stadium is. I, I can't remember the name of it. Um, yeah, but we're ready to go against this team right here, and we've had some uh, we've had some tough matchups before. But uh, look at us at the top of the AFC playoff picture. We're ten and three. We're one of the division leaders, and in the hunt, we've got a few teams in there as well. Um, Indianapolis in the, our division, of course, in there as well. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. Luckily, we'll not be hearing Charles Davis's bald ass. I hate Charles Davis, by the way. So, Charles Davis, if you're watching this, <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, yeah, I, not it's nothing personal, all right? Just let me let me return this kick here with Rashad Curtis. Get the game off to a good start. I do not like returning the kicks, though, so that kind of sucks. Rashad Curtis up to the 30, getting out and in front of it already, navigating through his blocks, doing well. I think that he should deserve a little bit more playtime, but... You know, whatever. I, I can't take that up with the head coach or anything. Bubba Dub's too stubborn for that. Eric Walker on the season, not having a bad one. Uh, three three interceptions two weeks ago. No interceptions last week or the week before the three interceptions. So it's either he's really bad or really good. So we'll have to see what sort of um, Eric Walker we get out of today. But I think that we, we win this game dumping the ball off to our uh, people. I think that's just the one way to put it is... Dumping it off to Jahan Dotson, who is now a superstar X Factor. That's awesome. I love saying that. Um, uh, dropping it off to guys like that is just gonna be a uh, key to success here. And uh, can we get that throw? Nico Collins catching traffic. Very nice. Very good throw as well from Eric Walker. Had a chance to throw an interception right there. So uh, luckily he didn't do that. And then yeah, Jahan Dotson. We have all these new routes for him. So, um, excited to use those in the future, but we won't be using it this play. Um, did have someone wide open and said we're going to go Trey McBride. So, we're just checking down, getting the yards. I think 350 yards is possible for Eric Walker if we don't run the ball all that much. And, um, I'm going to give a little corner route to Jahani over there, Jahani Badani. And we're going to get absolutely clustered in the backfield. Um, maybe they guessed run. 
and then just got penetration early. But uh, we'll have to see what we can do here with our wide receivers. And um, I think that that was a good window that we found with Jahan Dotson. Maybe you could use recuperation on him a little bit more than we could use... Yeah, he's already out of the game. Rashad Curtis in now. Has a chance to uh, get something going, maybe. Um, we'll go to him. In the middle of the field. Wants to sneak up. Gets to the one-yard line. I would like a passing touchdown. I'm going to be honest. Just in case we can't get those 350 yards. Start off with a passing touchdown. Instead. Um, rolling out. Can't throw it to anyone. Gets it out. Maybe he should have been a roughing the passer call right there. But nothing too crazy. I want to do this, maybe this, and then Jahani. I'm going to bring Jahan Dotson on a dig across. Something like this right here. Try to get someone open in the end zone. It'll be Justin Ross. Wide open in the end zone, just forgotten about. And then uh, it'll be a Houston Texans touchdown. Trevor Lawrence on coming onto the field now. Thrown for a lot of yards, not too many interceptions with the right amount of touchdowns. I think that's the exact same as Eric Walker. With just four games left in the season, we're going to see what these quarterbacks can really put up. Um, and yes, I am aware of the whole sliders thing and everything like that. We're definitely going to need to up the sliders. Um, it's just whether or not they're going to come, like, if it's going to be something that I do immediately, like, after this game. Because, I'm going to be honest, if I were to do it, I think I would have rather done Last week had a good game. I guess he's their starting tight end. I, I don't... Okay, um... Sorry, got a little bit off track there, but we're going to try to keep ETN to a minimum today. He won't get the ball. It'll actually be, uh, well, it'll be ETN in the, in the grand scheme of it. But I think that next season we'll adjust the sliders pretty heavily as the team gets better because our team is just getting too good. And uh, we're just 10-3, and three, which, I mean, it's not unrealistic or anything like that, but it's like... All right, we're 10 and 3. It's getting old. We're just winning every game. I'd rather have some adversity, even though if it's unrealistic or not. So uh, we're still getting carved up in the passing game, no matter what team we play. Uh, no, no, I lied. And Jeff Okuda steps out somehow. Try to keep him inbounds. Ends up going out of bounds. Jeff Okuda, though, uh, starts this one off hot. We're going to try to uh, go to our wide receivers. Uh, the only thing that we really can do. What's a cross? Oh, we can put him on a crossing route. Oh, boy, do I love that. Um, Eric Walker, we're just going to have to try to scramble for as many yards as we can. But um, AJ Epinesa will actually get to us before we can go too far. I like Trey McBride, AJ Long. Everybody on this play is kind of, you know, a pawn. We're going to throw this one out and away. Roughing the passer where? I don't see it. I mean, what the hell? Give us give us one call. We're going to put Jahani on a little bit of a slant route right here. And look for James Cook to cook after the play, or after the catch, and he does. 7 to 10, 80 yards and a touchdown. So far, so good. I like our odds right now. We are doing well. Um, We just need a receiver to go out and do something pretty crazy and I think a post route right here could do it for Jahan Dotson I'm just gonna have to throw this one away sitting in the pocket too long didn't read the field quite like I should have for sure but uh these are the plays right here where James Cook thrives even though it's gonna be well covered uh can we get the block we did get the block meaning we can only move up the field very good stuff there by our, our team and our offense we're gonna have to try to uh move the ball on the ground with James Cook for the first time in the game. We'll run it. James Cook seeing a little bit more reps than um, than Damian Pierce in the beginning of this one. So, I mean, sue me for it. I don't care. But uh, we'll try to get out of the pocket. Maybe escape. Throw that one down to Jahan on the sideline. Does get it. Jahan is um, someone that we traded for this offseason. And has come through with way too good of a, I mean, his expectations weren't all that great or anything like that, but he has exceeded them by five times. It's been crazy what we've been able to see him do uh, in the game. I guess he's been very solid. Can we try to get that one into Justin Ross? All these receivers have plus catch and traffic, and that's Justin Ross's second touchdown in the slot. Or no, he's not playing in the slot. I think he's playing in that wide receiver three spot. 
Uh, he's getting a lot of red zone targets early. So T-Law has not started this one off too great or anything like that. And oh my goodness, he'll throw a second one. Just baited the hell out of him. Oh my god, Trevor Lawrence just got baited by Kevin Waddle. We adjusted the other way, came right back. Got that interception. Kevin Waddle has been very good in situations like that all season long. I do want Justin Ross underneath to the other side. I think that could work quite well. It does. Can we get Justin Ross inbounds up the field? Justin Ross has three touchdowns on the day. We cannot, we cannot go underrated in this one. But unfortunately, at this rate, he's probably not going to make the thumbnail. Considering Eric Walker is probably going to go up to superstar development. As you see, he's cheering right there. But... I don't know what to tell you. We, we have a good thing going. 21 to 0 in the first half. Forced two turnovers already. Let's keep the let's keep it rolling. Second and ten now. This Jags offense is kind of not struggling to move the ball by any means. And wow, what a play by Matt Abuike stopping Travis Etienne when it looked like he had some daylight. He was able to grab onto him and keep him in check, and Max Warwick was able to finish him off. Um probably gonna pick some better words for that one. But uh yeah, I mean good plays there by uh by our guys, and I mean, happy to see it. Derek Singley Jr. finds himself in a good place, but uh, Calvin Ridley, I'm assuming, yeah, it's Calvin Ridley, will uh, go up and moss Derek Singley Jr. despite his height and a good air. He played the ball well. He was in a good position to make a play on the ball. Can't really uh, force anything for that one, and yeah, it's getting too easy, bro. No way Trevor Lawrence is doing that. Um, I'm going to take it out right here on the one throw our final touchdown and we're gonna get this one done in the first half or in the first quarter even uh Ortega Whiteside's probably my go-to let me check the stats real quick player stats look at Eric Walker 11 of 16 139 three touchdowns we just need the four right and then uh ETN obviously not doing that great receiving wise Justin Ross Jahan Dotson plays a role for sure but um it would be fun to get another one. Oh my god we cannot Get that ball out. It was very well covered by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, just couldn't find a way, I guess. Um, maybe Nico Collins. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so hard to throw the ball. Like, it, it's so hard to find the right read on this sort of play. We'll just, I guess, go for Ortega Whiteside, and it's broken up by Aluakon. What do we do here? Do we go for it? I think that we do. I think that we could go for it. Even the CPU agrees with me. And uh, Justin Ross right there. I like to. I like that kind of my my settle down route. And yeah, Justin Ross take it down. Yeah, Justin Ross's fourth touchdown on the game is crazy. But he's the only one seeming to get open in the red zone. So I think for the rest of this game, all we have to do is keep playing. Um, oh my God, they have 12 combined yards in the first half. That is crazy. Um, yeah, Kevin Waddle also having a very good game. An interception, uh, tackle for loss now, just in the first quarter. So, I really do like what we're seeing here. I think that it could be very good for the future of this, uh, this team. Can we force, yeah, we force another fumble. Oh my god. Can we make it 35-0 to zero in the first quarter of play against this horrible Jacksonville team? We, they have sucked so far. They have not done anything to prove their worth. A playoff spot and we'll get out of the pocket here go for nico collins on the sideline we'll rack that one in and eric walker's looking for his fifth touchdown in the beginning of the second quarter i like mcbride um i also like jahan dodson um you know who i like even more nico collins touchdown eric walker has five and we're one second basically we're we are six seconds into the second quarter. It's 35-0. to zero. We're going to rely heavily on the run after this one right here. Um, maybe they should bench Trevor Lawrence. He doesn't seem to be the best decision maker right now. Uh, we saw Christian Harris nearly kill him. I think that was who made the hit on uh, Trevor Lawrence for that forced fumble. Third and four now after a pretty lousy run from Travis Etienne. But obviously they want to rely on this run considering the circumstances. Can we lay out ETN? I mean, Trevor Lawrence, 6 of 10, 61, three interceptions is not an ideal start to the game. They are not making 
any sort of movement right now to the point where they look any what good. And uh, Shepard out in coverage. That is, of course, a mismatch. Uh, Shepard is not a cover linebacker. He's supposed to be kind of a run stopper guy, and that's where Tim Mooney would probably be preferred over our first round pick in Brandon Shepard. But um, who is that? Is that Jamal Agnew taking? It is not. His name is something Johnson, and he's getting the the plays. But um, Christian Harris. Now we'll try to monitor the middle of the field with him and kind of keep everyone in check. Very good pass breakup by is that Jeff Okuda? It is. Making himself heard today. He's been very solid. He's been good. He's been uh, keeping guys in check. Has that uh, first quarter interception. And oh my god, we got cooked on that one right there. Calvin Ridley really got us. Oh man, that was tough. I was going for another interception and bit. And then Calvin Ridley just toasted us. It was not fun to uh, experience right there. Can we get someone on the quarterback, please? Zach Terrell is going to make his way over there. And sack Trevor Lawrence who just kept backing up, looking for something uh, for the sorry Jacksonville team. Uh, you really do hate to see it. I'm going to use Shepard right here. I'm not sure. He's not that quick. But uh, maybe he can cover this whole area over here. But look at the closing speed by Trayvon Diggs over him. It's just not fair. I mean, Shepard's very slow. And I think it depends on the team. If you play against a run-heavy team, Shepard's definitely going to be the better guy. But if you play against a, a passing team, then uh, you might have something to say about that. Who is that making a great play? Is that, It's C.J. Gardner-Johnson going up, throwing, uh, I mean, giving Trevor Lawrence his fourth interception and fifth turnover on the game. So don't like that one if you are... T-Law, Trevor Lawrence, and Eric Walker going to try to get past Andre Sisco right there. Couldn't quite get there. Um, and yeah, like I said, I think we'll just rely pretty pretty heavily on the run right now. I don't think that we can really do anything else in this game other than run the ball. Because I think that we've pretty much wore out the secondary to the point where they're only going to want to play the run. We basically single-handedly... Uh, we've won in the first quarter. Uh, it's We won in the first quarter. We won this game in the first freaking quarter. That's just how good we are. That's how good we have been. And um, that's how good our defense is at forcing turnovers. It's just getting there. First and 10 now for Damian Pierce, who needs to take a breather. But we're not going to let him. We're going to keep running the ball with him. And it's finally catching up to him. Four rushes, 16 yards. And uh, we're going to see maybe James Cook come into the backfield now. That's all we have to do right now is just run the ball with our running backs, get yards, get up the field. Might be a holding right here by, uh, like, maybe Kirk Lott, who was coming across the field, holding on the offense, of course. And it'll be Howie Morrison, the left guard, who actually initially played backup for us until we uh, traded Kenyon Green because Kenyon Green was just not performing at the level we all know he can perform at. But look at James Cook, and that is the explosiveness that he really brings to this offense. It's literally that right there. That is the best um, description of it, and that is the best show and tell of it as well. He is a very solid back. Can we get that one to him? We can't. It'll be fourth and five. I think we'll happily punt this one. I don't think that there'll be anything you can do to kind of change my mind. We'll try to pin him pretty deep here. This is going to be a bad kick, I can already tell you. Um, yeah, horrible kick by me. I should have booted it a little bit further than that. They're down on the 15, though, better than plenty of alternatives. But I think that that'll be our game plan for the rest of the game is just to run the ball. I don't think that we can really do anything else. Maybe put both of our running backs over 100 yards as well. And Christian Harris, Calvin Ridley after the catch. I'm curious, actually, in real life how Calvin Ridley is going to do on this Jags team. Because we can see some crazy stuff from Christian Kirk, Calvin Ridley, Zay Jones. I think that's a, a dangerously underrated three. And I think that teams might look at it that way as well. And uh, coming across. Oh my, Jalen Petrie. Oh, came across flying. And um, rightfully so. I mean, Trayvon Diggs will probably play him right here. And then Bobby Biddle right here and give him the play. And um, yeah, Christian Harris will hop on to Johnson's back right there. And uh, pull him to the ground, but two minute war warning comes up. We gotta watch the run right here. It is third and very short. 
So might want to play a little bit more bunched up considering they have not passed the ball all too well on us this whole entire game. Uh, Trayvon Diggs, what are you doing? Jalen Petrie got caught sleeping on the play. Not so great by Jalen Petrie. You definitely expect a little bit more from our rookie, or I guess our very young free safety. And uh, yeah, he knows better to, uh, than to throw at Christian Harris. Um, you know, you never know when he's baiting or whatever, but yeah, it, it's, it's a tough, it's a tough day when Christian Harris is playing at his best because what are you going to do when he's playing at his best? And, uh, we'll just pull Ridley out of bounds, I guess. Um, second and five, they've moved the ball well, very well this drive. This is the first drive we've seen any sort of spark from, uh, the Jaguars here. And, uh, I don't think that they can get anything open. We've played the ball so well. We've played the pass. We've been covering so well, but our defensive linemen just can't seem to get too much pressure, and that's been our issue. We need better pass rush for sure. Zach Terrell is trending towards being one of the best in the league, of course. And then um, we've got some really good corners. Trayvon Diggs, Derek Stingley Jr., obviously still um, so developing. And then Jeff Okuda playing in that slot position isn't the greatest. But um, I guess it'll have to do. We'll go inside. Max Warwick can't get anything. Matt Abuike gets pressure on the quarterback. Makes him air it out of the back of the end zone. But like I said, we just saw a great example there. No pressure on the quarterback until uh, late. And then that's what happens when we do get pressure on the quarterback. It'll be a, a rushed pass. And uh, Kevin Waddle will come up. Make a tackle. call it, make Force a timeout. Maybe get a good stop here. This will be third and goal, if I'm not mistaken. So if we can stop them here, um, maybe they only put up a touch or a put up a field goal. But I wouldn't be surprised if they went for it at all. Maybe give us a good chance to uh, uh, shut them out. But we're gonna see the decision right here whether or not they take it for a field. They will take a field goal, and I'm sure nothing else will happen. I'm sure I'll just run the ball five times before the game or before the game comes to half, and then. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys at halftime and see what the other teams are doing and how they're doing. And in Tennessee, Detroit will be having a tough task. And Camp Campanaro here in his first half, very good. And Devontae Parker is on that team now as well. And he's having himself a great game in Cleveland with Indianapolis, a division uh, rival of ours. Looks like they're on the good side of that game. Um, up 14 at halftime, or I guess heading into halftime. Hardwick's having himself a good game. Uh, Denver in New Orleans could be a fun matchup. Actually, I would like to see this in real life. Eight and five against a six and seven team. Uh, no rushes for the running back for uh, the Saints. They've been uh, too pass heavy. And uh, in our game, we have five takeaways in the first half. We have made sure to lead the game in rushing and receiving, and or I guess rushing and passing, uh, average yards per play, all of that. We lead. And uh, rightfully so, we have absolutely trashed this Jacksonville team. I think it would be safe to put our backups in right now. But obviously not going to do that. We're going to just keep moving with the game and uh, whatever happens, happens. But, I mean, what else can really go down? Christian Harris makes a great tackle from behind. And only a gain of two yards right there. But... We look ready to win. We look ready to go. Five takeaways. I mean, obviously some of those user picks were a little cheap obviously um i got caught lacking right there so did trayvon Diggs though calvin really will reach for yards on that play and trayvon Diggs say no yeah yeah he did believe it or not idiot he got the first down but we're gonna try to stop the run the best we can right here i'm gonna cover the jet sweep it's not the jet sweep i i mean i trust the rest of the team to take care of the running back so uh i'll take away the jet sweep personally and uh, if that isn't the play call, then, like I said, I trust the rest of the team to to make that call. And Christian Harris got, I mean, weird angle. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, Should have had him down, but I don't. I guess just runs right past him. I'm not sure, but Brandon Shepard created that uh, instant pressure uh, inside, forcing the running back out. And Derek Singley Jr. trying to wrap up quick on Calvin Ridley. I like that size comparison right there. On both those guys we will pinch the line try to run after the running back the best we can and that's why but he still somehow 
He was about three yards in the backfield when first contact came and still bowled forward for a good two yards right there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how, but it happens. It happens for sure. Kevin Waddle now will be covering the running back the best he can. And look at that effort right there from Derek Singley Jr. trying to make the, uh, the interception. He's been solid so far uh, this series, I guess this year. He's been pretty good. He hasn't been like great or anything, but he's been pretty good. And, wow, we've got a big hit on Trevor Lawrence. Doesn't fumble, luckily, for the Jacksonville Jaguars. But I would not be doing that if I were them. That's for sure. Christian Harris, I will in the mo monitor the middle of the field with. And um, that one just aired out. Maybe targeting Zay Jones or just throwing it away, even. I didn't see any pressure, but I could be wrong. You guys can easily correct me down in the comments below. And, yeah, I mean, right now we're just trusting our defense to make the plays and letting our good players play the game. And I think that's exactly what just happened. Matabuike does what he does best, gets to the running back pretty quick there, and finds himself in a good good spot to uh, to help the, the rest of the team out. And Trayvon Diggs on, is that even, is that Manhurts right there? I, I could be wrong. It's Crawford. I don't even know who that guy is. Justin Crawford. Um, maybe a auto-generated guy. Vaguely remember someone like that. I will take away the run with Brandon Shepard. who basically just finds his way into the backfield. I didn't really have to do anything. But Brandon Shepard is... That's, that's his game right there. That was not all he's good at, but that's his game. That's what he does best, and that's what he will continue to do best. And Snoop Connor on the carry will get freaking killed. I think that was by Jalen Petrie who came up and made a huge hit on uh, Snoop Connor. Can't remember where he went to college. Might have been Ole Miss, if I'm if I'm not too mistaken. I could be wrong though. I'm just trying to find the open guy. Can't do that. Fourth and four. Will they take the points or will they go for the touchdown? They'll take the points again. It'll be six to thirty-five. We've been played. Been playing good, bend but don't break defense now. And, uh, I mean, so far this Jacksonville team has yet to score a touchdown. And in a moment like this, I think it's just about time to bring out the one and only Rashad Curtis to come in and play. Um, maybe dump it down to him a couple of times and just see what he's worth and what he can do. Right there, that's a good uh, play by Barner, whoever the hell that is, but... Um, yeah, we see Rashad Curtis into that slot position now, and he'll be out blocking for his running back right here, James Cook, getting up the field. James Cook has been significantly better than Damian Pierce in the running department today, but um, kind of curious as to of why, because normally it is Damian Pierce that is able to go out and make the plays that they need him to. And just like that, gets up the field six y or eight yards easily. Um, yeah, I mean, he's just sort of good at what he does. And that is getting minimum three yards per carry and just bowling forward. And, um, I mean, he's just very solid when he has the balls in his hands normally. Um, pause. But he's just very, I don't know. He's very head-on, straightforward, not a big play guy. And uh, I bet if he had all of his stamina right there, he can maybe break out for a little bit of a good pass right there. But James Cook will come into his place now and try to put up good points or put up good yardage and does just that. Maybe had a touchdown if we went around Jahan Dotson. But James Cook has gone for over 10 yards plenty of times today. I'd rather see James Cook get the superstar development than... Um, then I'd rather see Damian Pierce, if I'm being honest. I just think that um, James Cook plays a little bit of a bigger role, if I'm being honest, and just uh, plays like a little bit better overall than all of them. I'm going to throw this one out in a way. I saw Jahan Dotson last minute. Didn't quite get all the way to him, though. James Cook, Aluakon, will, of course, read him on this screen. And so, uh, oh, he won't, actually. So we'll just trust... Corey Weston to get out in front of him couldn't quite get there but Eric Walker's day has been very solid 15 to 25 185 touchdowns he did business the way business is supposed to be done and uh for that he has he will get superstar development on this breakout challenge and Damian Pierce bowling forward for his first 10 yard carry of the game 10 rushes 49 yards 
and that is the stat line that you expect from a guy like Damian Pierce. And in this situation, he's also the type you expect to just walk right into the end zone on a play like this, whether or not he is hit and he will be dragged into the end zone. That'll be a touchdown for Damian Pierce. And Trevor Lawrence has actually had a pretty good second half. Hasn't thrown a turnover, hasn't thrown an interception or turned the ball over. Um, I mean, so far it's just been very solid play. It's not been anything special. 23 of 34, 223, and then has the four interceptions, of course. The four first half interceptions. And so, um, I mean, we'll look to stop that here, but it doesn't. Right, of course, right is when I talk about it. It's when C.J. Gardner-Johnson will go down and score on him here. Pick six, Trevor Lawrence needs to be a little bit better. Throws his fifth interception on the game. Now, right now, we are looking to just, uh, I don't know, keep this one in check. Maybe uh, make a good throw or two. Wow, what a throw and catch. And yeah, Derek Stingley Jr. is consistently getting cooked on that route right there. Consistently getting dotted up on the slants. Cannot catch a break, and number 39 will break loose and try to uh, stand up Kevin Waddle. You're funny. Kevin Waddle is one of the most physical specimens on this team. And if you think you're going through him, uh, no way in hell is that ever happening. And, um, I mean, I'll cover this check down, I guess, the best I can. And uh, did have him. Zach Terrell for his second sack of the game. Um, I do like the way that he's playing. Uh... After it's already been 30 seconds and no one's open. So we probably need him to get to the quarterback a little bit faster if he's ever going to get to the quarterback. Probably needs to be a little bit faster than that. But uh, taking away two routes the best we can. And Matabuike now gets after Trevor Lawrence. So, um, yeah, we'll get the ball back. 49-6 to is the score. We are murdering the Jacksonville Jaguars right now and for some reason Damian Pierce is in the backfield for the screen pass so I will try to uh, make it as Rashad Curtis friendly right here the this one right here give Rashad Curtis a chance this one will be aired out and this one will be an interception we shouldn't have Eric Walker on the field at all don't worry that does not take away his superstar development right there at least it shouldn't and if it does, I will make sure it doesn't. I will give him superstar development. It said one or fewer. So we will go ahead and put Lucas Hicks in at quarterback next time that we're on offense. Just so that doesn't happen again. But yeah, you guys see what kind of just happens as the game goes on. And you see what happens when you want to win the game. And I mean, they do anything they can to make the computer win the game. Uh, I mean, even if it's running it like that or getting an extra four yards on some bogus shit like that and whatnot. So we'll see what we can do here. I wouldn't be surprised if they just run, get a touchdown uh, very fast. So, um, oh, my God, Trayvon Diggs making a play right there. That was a very good one. We'll try to keep them uh, isolated here in third and or on third and six. Try to uh, make sure that there is nothing going on. It was a nice draw play. Couldn't quite get there. Fourth and two. And we'll have James Cook here on a little screen pass. We'll wait for Howie Morrison's block to get up there. Uh, just five yards right there for uh, my guy. Nothing crazy. Then we'll bring in Damian Pierce. Try to just give it to him for the, the game enders here. Um, try to get him a few more yards before his day's over. 12 rushes, 60 yards, and a touchdown. I mean, 450 yards today. Uh, we are 24th normally in the league. And so, I mean, pretty crazy to see the other result of it. But we'll try to go for James Cook here again, whether or not it's red. And it is well red, but we'll try to get up the middle of the field now instead. Um, I don't mean to rhyme like that. So, I mean, it's my bad, but... Uh, yeah, we'll look to run it a little weird run right here. Um, I'm not going to wait for the two-minute warning. I just don't care. Oh, my God. Howie Morrison needs to make that block. Holy shit, he's ass. We got we to gotta replace him in this upcoming draft for sure. Howie Morrison, I'm sorry, bud, but you cannot be my future guy. No way in hell are you that guy. We'll use uh, James Cook now. Try to get up the field with him. And he goes for another about 15 uh, but there might be a holding call here, so we have to watch out. It'll actually be a legal block in the back by Nico Collins. Don't like that. It'll be first and ten, though. Um, 
I guess that works. We'll just go for them on the screen again. Uh, they come out in the same defensive formation every single time. We will get it to James Cook, though. Oh, my God. James Cook up the field. James Cook going for a touchdown. And this is exactly why he is a difference maker on the offense. Probably the biggest one, despite Jahan Dotson. Despite, he's a, probably the better running back than Damian Pierce. Uh, just because of his versatility out of the back of the field. Catches the ball. Right, and then, I mean, obviously gets some pretty pretty bogus stuff right there, but gets caught up, makes a good move, gets through everybody, gets a touchdown to make it 56-9 to nine with 145 or so left on the clock. Yeah, this one is pretty much over. The Jacksonville Jaguars aren't even calling timeouts. They probably just want this beating to be over before Trevor Lawrence throws another interception. Got damn close right there. Very good animation for Zay Jones and, of course, on Derek Stingley Jr., uh, Derek Stingley Jr. has not been that guy this season. I mean, I know we talked about it. he's played well uh, this whole entire season when, like, he needs to, right? But, um, I don't know. In, in these sort of trash plays, like, nothing ever happens where uh, Derek Stingley Jr. doesn't get mossed or anything like that. He gets consistently mossed. It's kind of crazy. Um, trying to come across, lay out Christian Kirk. Be actually third in inches, they'll call. We want to go ahead and pinch the line and try to make sure nothing bad happens. What? Okay. I was about to say, if that was completed, there's just no way. Uh, they might go for another field goal right here. They won't. They'll literally come out. We'll try to load the box the best that we can right here and uh, try to rush the passer. Jalen Petrie trying to wrap up. Couldn't. Good first down, but this game is practically over. We'll try. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. This is horrible. Finding guys wide open on the other side of the field. We'll have to lay out number 10 right there. He will stay in bounds, and this game will be over. We'll look at the stats now. Hey, I'm looking at the player stats now. Eric Walker went 16-27, 180, put up the amount of touchdowns he needed, and one interception. Of course, the five from Trevor Lawrence, no touchdowns, 303 yards on 45 attempts. Very bad game for him. And then, yeah, we look at the, the running right here. For the Texans side of things, James Cook went 6 for 66, very solid. And then Damian Pierce had two times the amount of carries and one. And then uh, went for 58 on just those ones right there, rushing for 4.4 per carry and a touchdown. But James Cook was definitely clicking in this game. And we go to the receiving side of things, and James Cook had seven receptions, 89 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, Justin Ross, four catches, 27 yards, and four touchdowns. Jahan Dotson was pretty impactful early, didn't really get going at all. Nico Collins had his catches, he was very good. Rashad Curtis found himself a catch for 14 yards. Trey McBride, one catch for 11. And then J.J. Ortega Whiteside had his target, I think. And yeah, I think he might have dropped it, or if it was just a bad or a really good coverage. And then 14 tackles for Christian Harris, 12 for Kevin Waddle. TFLs for Don Reedy, Brandon Shepard, Christian Harris, and Kevin Waddle. And then. Uh, QB sacks, two for Zach Terrell. Justin Matabuike had one. And um, interceptions now. A lot to go around. CJ Gardner-Johnson found himself to have two. Christian Harris, one. Kevin Waddle, one. And Jeff Okuda also had one. Had the first one out of them all. So good stuff there by our team. And uh, happy to see how things turned out. And hopefully we can get ourselves some superstar development with uh, Eric Walker. And like I said, if it bugs out and doesn't give it to him, don't worry. I'll make sure to give it to him because I know he rightfully got it. We had a great performance with him. Uh, we scored 28 points in the first half or in the first quarter and then 21 in the fourth. So very good game. And uh, I'll upgrade these guys. I'll probably upgrade Zach Terrell on camera here ratings i mean he's very very good everywhere his block shedding is getting helped a lot um i can upgrade power rusher again but i'll probably just un uh, uh damn i'll just do a run stopper here uh plus three block shedding is huge up to a 77 without or wait hang on at 79 without morale my brain is somewhere else but uh, I'll upgrade these two right here. So we beat this Jags team 56 to nine, and we'll go ahead and look at the results of the breakout quarterback. And um, coach, another huge day for Air, uh, quarterback Eric Walker, and it seems he seems to whoa, and he seems to be placing his name among the upper echelon of signal callers. Sure, Eric Walker now a superstar development. Let's go! I'm so happy for him. Um, 
honestly, in my opinion, doesn't deserve any little bit of it. He's been very poor up to this point. These last couple of games has been his only good games playing with, with plus five <laughs> morale. That's really what's keeping him afloat right now. And we'll look at his ability right now. Homer um, can easily enter the zone. Well, considering that we don't have that, um, I guess we'll just do tight out and then uh, uh, pa wait. Passes with this ability to prove catching uh, prowess of all running backs who are open on pass play. Sure. I'll just do those ones right there, um, just for now. He needs to get upgraded a lot before he can do anything. He's a 23-year-old rookie. Doesn't really matter in the quarterback uh, thing, like scheme of things. But uh, James Cook, I want both these guys to go up to star development, and then um, maybe next season go one of them go up to superstar development. Obviously, uh, Jahan Dotson right here is superstar X factor. So this team's really starting to come along. We've got a lot of uh, guys here on the defensive side of thing that are superstar as well. CJ Gardner Johnson may, might find himself a case to move up a depth trait. Derek Sting or Jalen Petrie missed some time, so maybe he doesn't go up. Ron McKinley, uh, I'm not sure how I even mentioned him. Tim Mooney at star development is good. I think that he can probably play the outside linebacker role better than Brian Shepard. But I'll just keep him there for now. He's been so good at stopping the run. And speaking of the run, I think that's what we're really going to like work on uh, and work at these next couple of weeks to end out the season against the Dolphins. And then um, the Dolphins, we have the Titans, it looks like, and uh, the Jags again. So we will have ourselves this pretty stacked uh, schedule coming up. And uh, we'll really try to work on the... Uh, the run game in those right there. And CJ Garner Johnson actually comes up with player of the week, three tackles, two interceptions and a touchdown. So his pick six and the other uh, interception will really do it. So very successful episode. I think that we're pretty much done here. And um, yeah, if you guys did like the video, make sure to leave a like and I will appreciate that. And so will the algorithm and uh, make sure to subscribe for more because there will be plenty more uh, coming. And then you guys should see a rebuild soon. So uh, that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Deuces. I put the one up, whatever.